I don't really like phasers or flangers. Even chorus a little bit goes a long way for me. So when Alexander sent me their new Leap Series pedal, the Luminous Phase Shifter, So I had to find other uses for it. I tried just about everything I could think of for it, and it worked really well in certain applications. Shockingly, not too well in others. I tried introducing it to my other Alexander pedals, and uh, it was bullied and, frankly, treated very poorly. While we generally associate big washy sounds with ambient music, I personally enjoy having clarity between the parts and being able to place things specifically where I want them in a mix. And it's always been difficult for me to start with a sound that's washed out on purpose and kind of smeared across the stereo spectrum and be able to do that sort of thing with them. It also could be that my introduction into sound design was through synthesis in which we can generate movement within a patch without having to resort to external effects all the time. But setting all that aside, today I try to figure out musical ways that I can use this phaser and see if this one has anything to offer that others haven't. I really enjoy the Alexander Rewind and the Space Force, which are other pedals in this series, because they offer so much flexibility in terms of modulation and things that you can set up through the expression output. You can even control that with this switch here uh, and set it up on a ramp. The ability to modulate multiple parameters at one time, really powerful in these pedals, and we're gonna see if I can do something with my Moog Matriarch that would be interesting and change my opinion on phasers once and for all. After doing a little exploring, I would say 
there are definitely some sounds in here that if I were gonna sit down with just one synthesizer, I would absolutely use. I still don't think I would use a phaser or a flanger much in a mix, but if it's just one-on-one -on -one with a synth or one element, one or two elements, can really create some interesting movement. And if you're a fan of phasers, I think this is a no-brainer. Even though you can do some pretty deep stuff in this pedal, it's pretty easy to navigate. And that's one thing that I like about all of the Alexander pedals, uh, the Rewind, the Space Force, and the Luminous. It's pretty accessible. One thing to note, pedal manufacturers, synth people, not a fan of the TRS stereo input. Just, just give us two inputs. That would be swell. You can find a link for the pedal in the description below. If you click on that link and go through the affiliate program, that will support the channel. If you'd like to support the channel even more and become a member where you can talk about synthesis and sound design and composition with other supporters of the channel, you can join my membership. And I'll put that in a card right here somewhere. If you'd like to see more videos like this or about synthesis or composition in general, you can subscribe and uh, of course, like the video if you like the video. Bye.